you've been overweight your entire life. You can't remember a time when when you weren't. So it must have started somewhere when you were when you were a child. What sort of things were you eating? Were you were you overeating then? Um, not really overeating. I mean, I have large portions, but I've never really eaten as such crisps and um, chocolates growing up. Um, you know, not much. I was tried to help eat healthy. Yeah. Um, like chocolate. When I was twelve, I go home to my mum from school and says, you know, am I allowed to eat it, sort of thing. Mm. So yeah, I've never really eaten the wrong, the wrong things much. Mm. Over so the how years. do you think it started? Um, well, my mum sort of been big, sort of her life and things. Um, I think it can also you can have um, like my mum's got a thyroid problem. She has to take thyroid tablets, mm -hmm. and they do say that if you're over, I can't remember whether it's over or under, you can, like, be mm. not big, big, but you can, be, um, you can not lose it as lot and lose it as much as, as everybody else. Because I've had friends as well that's that's eaten like five chocolate bars in one go, and they're as thin as anything. Mm. Um, what about uh, helping yourself? Because you say that you've been laughed at your whole life. You're laughed at at school, not just the pupils, but the teachers as well. Um, it's 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 hard for you to go out because you don't like the reaction. You have a you know you say you have a difficult uh, relationship with food, but you like food because it doesn't laugh at you. Um, have you tried to to lose weight? I have tried in the past. Um, like I've been on tablets and medication and things that has not agreed with me. Uh, and then I was on one that did, did agree, and then they found I was diabetic ten years ago, so I couldn't no longer take it. Type 2 diabetes. Yeah, yeah. type 2 with Which insulin lifestyle. helped. Lifestyle. That's right, yeah. Um, but um, I've never, you know, I don't sort of eat the, the wrong, wrong things until I've been on benefits, because you can't always afford to go out and buy cheap food. Like, um, well, you can, sorry, you can go out and buy cheap food. Mm. Um, like, fruit and things like that is so much more expensive than buying your crisps and chocolates and things like that. Well, you are on benefits because you're out of work yeah. at the moment. Um, and why is that? Why, why, why can you not go out and, and work? The reason being, I'm on, I've got health problems. I've got, like, feet ulcers or... Brought on by like... the weight. Yes, it can be through partly the weight, and also the diabetes can not help it. Which is also brought on probably by the weight. Yeah, and um, I've had, as soon as I work, standing on my feet for long periods, mm. the old feet ulcers break out. Mm. So then I'm, I'm on the sick, back on the sick for a month or so until they heal, and then I'm working, and then they break out again. And this is, I mean, this is, seems like you're really in a rut here. This is a real catch-22 situation, uh, starting from, from a child, really, of, you know, being a bit picked on, finding comfort in food, mm. eating a bit more, becoming depressed, mm. then becoming trapped, then mm. getting bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where you can't right. work. Mm. And there is a lot of judgment on you. I mean, yeah. you could, I can almost, from the iPad, hear people screaming and shouting, he's, he's done this to himself, he's being lazy, mm. he needs to get up off the sofa, lose some weight, it's not mm. that easy. How does it feel to know that that's going to be happening as you sit here it does make me angry because people do judge judge me and, and things or judge big people I mean I'd love to go out and work I'd love to do work I have in the past I've done any job that's been offered to me mm. but because of my you know f um, health not being great sometimes I the employers aren't sympathetic like when I go and work as soon as I'm Mm. Like work, and then I'm, I go off ill because I'm just started the job. Oh, we got you're like irreplaceable. The trouble is though that it's never ever going to improve. It'll only mm. ever get worse mm. because you you sit at home, uh, mm. you're not eating healthily. I assume you're not doing any exercise at all. You're not going out for walks and things like that just to begin mm. to burn it off to make mm. it that little bit easier for yourself. So so that the out the, the 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 future for you is actually uh, quite bleak. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it can be. Heart problems, yeah. you know, all of those sort of things. How does that make you feel? It is worrying, um, that's knowing all that. Yeah. Because um, I've had, with my diabetes, I've had uh, a toe amputated yeah. through infection and things like that. And I do what I can to get out, but with exercising, because of the feet ulcers, when they're bad, I can't walk far and things like that and I've been on this been on the sick so then I can't get out and physically walk yeah. and exercise and things how do you get out of a rut like that 
It's so difficult. I mean, I just feel so sad here. And this is really a problem of society. Terry's sat here, 25% of adults in this country are obese. So, you know, it's not, it's not just Terry. This is a problem that's affecting lots and lots of people. And it really is a society problem. And I think it doesn't help when people judge in that way. Um, Terry really wants to work and he knows his, the way that if he's going to get better, it's going to be through being in paid employment and having a purpose and having to get up every day and having to be active. And like Holly said, he's in a rut at the moment and society isn't helping him to come out of that rut. So that's one reason. But also, there's really deep-rooted psychological issues going on here. Um, and we chatted earlier, and you've had some counselling, haven't you? That's sort right, of depression yeah. and things, but actually never any sort of psychological input into the eating and it is a food addiction mm. it's comfort eating i think it's when i'm at work is sorry it's more so when i'm at work i get more depressed mm. than actually when i'm working i'm like it, like now with my health i can't sort of do the physical work as yeah. such mm. but even being like when i was working and i was a lot of exercise and it kept my weight stagnant or it kept it like down a little bit thanks for watching click here for more this morning videos